Hey everyone, I'm back. I'm doing more part two of Shin Megami Tensei 1 for the old game system. Where we left off, I was in a. I was stuck in this building. I was doing this for a little while. Pretty embarrassing, eh? <laughs> Classic! Classic YouTube video. <laughs> One of the most classic moments online. I figured out what to do, guys. That's right. What you have to do is boom, boom, you go back home. I'm sorry for insulting this game last time I played it, folks. It's a little, little bitter. I don't understand the appeal of this game. Apparently, the appeal is that you spend hours and hours of your stupid fucking life playing a shitty game where everything looks exactly the same with slightly different colors, and you just walk through stupid, sad, empty hallways over and over and over. Go back to the game. Anyway, your mom tells you there's a murder. She says it extremely casually. It was feet away from your house, and you just your mom just barely cares. And look at this. Save. You know what I say? You know what my phrase is? If I'm gaming, I'm saving. When I'm gaming, folks, I'm saving. I'm saving my progress in the games. I'm gaming, I'm saving. You know what happens when you save? Boom, you turn the console off. Boom, you turn it on. Boom, you continue where you left off. Boom, all your progress is saved. Boom! Oh yeah! Oh yeah, folks! Let's save this motherfucker! Let's save on um, this motherfucking game, folks! <clears throat> anyway, your mom can see whatever you're doing in your room and knows exactly when you're about to fall asleep, and now I'm back in this shithole. Except this blue instead of red. <coughs> yeah, keep questioning, boo! Quit! Hiya, Beavis! We meet again! Yo, Beavis! Looks like I'm having to get another funky blend! That's my impression of Adolf Hitler, former Nazi leader of Germany during the World War II era. Can't tell, but I'm squinting. I'm squinting right now. <sighs> Yuriko is the girl we saved if you watched the last video, which you don't have to, and I understand if you don't. It's a very boring game. It's not very fun to watch. Speaking of which, we have to take a word from our sponsors temporarily. <clears throat> Um, I continued, the part of why I continued, didn't continue these videos for so long is that I could not afford to do Camtasia Studio software. And now that I can, I would like to thank those who made this possible. And so, here's a clip from Turbo by DreamWorks. First one to the top of that shooting star wins. <laughs> you got way up there, huh? Awesome, let me get my calendar so I can time you. Laugh it up, garden snail. <laughs> On your mark? Get set? Prepare to be wet, shut up! <laughs> Those guys are crazy! Those guys are awesome! <laughs> hey, Blaze! The party up here! How do I get up there? Buddy, you almost fell. Who's slowest now, Garden Snail? Wow.
right back to the game. A strange ceremony is taking place. What's this weird ceremony? Do you think they're trying to summon some sort of demon? They're trying to sacrifice the girl. <laughs> Thank you, Captain Obvious. <laughs> You gotta treat girls this kind of way if you want them to like you guys. But if I said yes, next thing you know, the girl's gonna be asking me to uh, guac her face and, you know, help her with her pimple cream and shit. But, you know, if you say no, you know what you're gonna get if you act like that. If you act kind of a little cold and distant. It makes them want you more. You just can to sacrifice Who dares interfere with our ceremony? Beavis, you have come to rescue me. Quickly, call my name. Keep with the theme of celebrity names. I'm going to name the heroine after Personality Roseanne Barr. What? This girl's name is Roseanne? Oh my god. If that's true. That's the sound I made when someone first pointed out that there's an arrow in the FedEx logo between the E and the X. Ah, ah, I can't unsee my child that is <sighs> Gee, thanks, Mr. Connor. <laughs> my character's name is Beavis. It's not Mr. Connor. It's not I'm not filling the whole game with Roseanne references. I'm just uh there's just one. I almost got sacrificed. If I have almost got evicted, then a terrible demon lord would always be summoned. Oh no, I can feel the power. What you want to do if you want to beat this game is you got to pump them all in the speed. You got to just pump up that speed. Just pump them in there. You just... Okay. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, we got that speed. We will not meet until later in the future. Mm-hmm. Alright, so what happens next in this game is that your mother will call you to wake you up. She says the same thing she said yesterday. And I received an auto mapping program. Now there's gonna be something a little off in this game. You'll start seeing, you'll start noticing some, some twisted shit. Twisted in a bad way, not in a good way, like Stewie Griffin. It's twisted in the kind of way that just makes you, just makes you uncomfortable. Whereas twisted in a good way, it's like you know you got a twisted sense of humor, and you just Stewie Griffin is just like the embodiment of that sense of humor. And it's just, you know, he's kind of, it's kind of, I kind of liken myself to Stewie Griffin because he's just, uh, he's a little morbid and he's a little, you know, he likes to. Uh, he thinks very highly of himself, and he's very witty, and, you know, he's quick-witted, and he's got this sort of twisted, sort of macabre sense of, uh, humor, and, uh, I can relate really well with that, and, I mean, anyone who meets me usually, they'll usually tell me, you know, you're a lot like F SG, and I'm like, you know, I'm not, you're not the first guy who's told me that, because they're not, you know, I hear that all the time, I'm a lot like SG, but... Anyway, this is the first random battle in the game. I'm fighting a brownie. <clears throat> I'm just gonna. Oh! Again, you know, I recorded this once before, I'm not gonna lie, and I forgot to equip my sword. And I've done it once again, so what I'm gonna try to do is escape. 
I got away. See, what would have happened there is I would have had to defend over and over and over until I died. And that would not be fun for my subscribers to watch, so uh, I just have to keep on top of this shit, and hopefully I don't have to record this again. Because if I do, I'm, not, I'm still gonna forget to do this. And you gotta equip the attack K. It's kind of like an A- it's like, that's what AK stands for in AK-47, it's attack K-47. Those guns are very powerful, and it's kind of retarded that the government tries to let you not, um have as many rounds as you used to be able to have. Uh, it's really shitty, it's a really bad infringement. Anyway, you go down here and it's in Ikenokaka Park and uh... You must be Beavis. Yes, yes, I see, yes, you are quite special indeed. Maybe you don't see it, but blah 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 blah. This game has a light path, and a chaos path, and a neutral path, that's all this guy's telling you, he's just letting you know. He's literally just telling you a mechanic of the game, it's not important. Now what's going on? It's President Bill, quite anxious, join your party. Dwayman in the middle of the afternoon? Boy, no, I'm really losing it. You know, Hitler has a very strong sense of reality, and I guess this, this game really uh, pays attention to the kind of fucked up shit that's going on in Hitler's head. You know, he's kind of fucked up guy. He's a great leader. He's a great leader, you know. He's a great, great speech giver. Again, I'm not controlling my characters. It's about the third time in the game the game has done this. There's a stupid fucking wiggly filter, and uh, I guess it's... Watch this, I'm just gonna fucking fast forward it. Your mom's there, and she says she doesn't want you to die. Big whoop. There's a sign to steal you. He turns around. This isn't the first, this isn't the last time you'll see this. I'll let you guys read it next time I get through this. It's just a tutorial. It's just fucking. I really just don't see the point of this. It's not like a new game where, it, like, the demon, the boss would say, you better not use a buff against me, and then the game will be like, you can use buffs to increase your stats. It's literally pointless. There's no reason for it. It's really bad. I'm really sorry that you guys have to watch this part of the game. I really wish that I had a save file that was a little bit further. It's just not good for you to watch. It's not fun. It's not fun for you. It's not fun for me. Okay, so that old man said some shit, and you just take one step north, and there's another random encounter, and this time, watch this, folks. You ready? Boom! Boom! Thug took 13 damage. I mean, I know I'm going kind of fast, but you guys have played this kind of game before. You know what battles are like in them. Hello, you. You are here. Hold it. You're Beavis. You're not... You're under arrest for murder. We found your bloody fingerprints at the scene. You sick little fucking puppy fucker. Tear out the fucking guy's throat like that. Are you fucking retarded? Get him, guys. All right, I'm in jail now. Sorry for spoiling you guys for the screen loaded, but I knew I was gonna be in jail. A policeman arrested me. Don't you guys think it's so fucked up that there's so many sheeple in the world that don't, uh... Whoa, folks! Holy crap! Oh my god! You seen it here first. Bill Clinton in the fucking flesh. Bill Clinton in the flesh. This is not a dream, my friends. This is the real deal. Oh my god. If you want to make friends with a guy, you gotta let him know you're not his fucking errand boy. So no, I'm gonna say no.
I'm actually feeling kind of bad about this. So I'm gonna help him find her. <laughs> it's kind of stupid. Stupid. If you think about it, because um, the main character himself doesn't have a girlfriend, it's just fucking typical, you know, these fucking cunts, they pay no attention to you, and then there's just some fucking asshole in a leather jacket, and they're dating him, and you end up fucking helping him with her, and helping him with all their problems. You're the one keeping their relationship together, and then once it's over, guess what happens? Thank you for being such a good friend. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, retarded. Steampunk elements. Steampunk. Steampunk change my life. Alright, do you wanna burst out of here? Why was he in jail? He didn't even say. He just says girlfriend is lost. Time for your surgery. Come on out. Uh, all of a sudden, Bill Clinton brushed the employee. Come on! Now's our chance! Let's go! Let's go to the G8 Summit meeting. It's President Bill Quinn is gonna be there. You notice this is very similar to your own home, the other homes in the game, all other buildings you see in the game. It's very similar. It's the color is not even different than your own house. If you notice. Uh, why did I get brought to a hospital after getting arrested? That's what we're all thinking, buddy. Know what else we're all thinking? Bring back the gold standard. That's what we're all thinking. Bring back the gold standard. We can't let our nation get in more debt. You gotta bring back the gold standard. Oh. What do we even have? Our, what does our money even have to fall back on? It's bring back the gold standard or else, you know, we're just gonna get deeper and deeper in debt. We're just gonna keep going downhill. Man in wheelchair. Oh, wow, that's sensitive. <laughs> I see you got that computer program I wrote. Has it been useful for you? A long time ago, I was working on a teleportation device. A network of terminal systems that would allow the user to oh, okay I'm done I don't want to play this game anymore it's bad I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking kill myself this is it I said I was gonna do it last time I'll say I'm gonna do it again I'm gonna fucking kill myself this game is over